Oh man, the rain's coming. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the exterior review of this 2004 Volvo XC90. Now we get this done before it starts raining, hopefully. And I've got it all shined up. And the minute you get it all shined up and ready to go, at the same time, my battery's starting to go. So I'm gonna get around the outside of it at least to where I've got the outside. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. And this will be the exterior review. There'll also be an interior review video. And I might throw a test drive on the end of each of them. It's a beautiful SUV, CUV, crossover. I don't know what you want to call it. Truck, car, rig. I enjoy it a lot. I've had a lot of 240s, uh, 940s, 7, yeah. 7s and 9s mess me up, buddy. But the 240s on up, I love the old Volvo cars like that. Just timeless tanks, classics, cult classics. Just great, great cars. I'd always wanted to get a nice clean XC90, and here I got one. And I've been driving this thing around. It's got 115,000 original miles on it. Runs great, drives great. Everything about it is just what I like. It's good fuel economy for the size and the everything about it. Um, that's that. I'm gonna go around the truck, show you everything about it. See, I'm calling it a truck, a car, a rig. I don't know. All the bumpers and all around here are in great shape. Underneath it, great shape. No all rusted out or nothing. It's a nice, clean truck. Truck. <laughs> Fog lights aren't all busted up or nothing. Um, I'm gonna do this quick once around. Hopefully that wasn't too close for you because I forgot I was zoomed up. So, I'm gonna start down this side and just go for it. Go for it, go for it. Clean and straight as can be. There's a couple little marks right here and here. This headlight should be redone. Um, you can see how it's just... They have a top film on these. That's kind of odd. And that should be sanded down and redone. This one over here looks great. Across the hood looks great. And other than that... Going down the sides. Looks great. Straight as can be. I'm sure there's a door ding or something somewhere. I want to show you this. I will on the way back by. Okay. Up here it all looks good. Nice and clean. All the bolsters or whatever you want to call these little rack things are in great shape. All this stuff, it's all just in great shape. It's not all discolored or nothing. I want to say that about this too. This stuff is usually all discolored and messed up. And I have conditioned it but it's not messed up scuffed there with a little teeny bump I think it just crinkled it a little bit because it's not got the same crinkle on that side rear backup sensors all the way across the back that go when you get close to everything um, small little scratch here with a ding there and let's start going back down this other side that was my main thing oh water droplets okay straight as can be they scuff this thing right along there, just lightly along there, but ever so lightly put a chip right there and scratch that handle. They did not indent the side. It did not bend the door or even dent or ding the door. Scratch, tiny scratch, but it's there. And some little marks. I'm gonna show you the other side here really quick before it gets too rainy. There's a couple door dings in the door here. Nothing too big and very hard to see, but I want to be very upfront and show you anything that's wrong with the car. And that's one thing. A couple scuffs going over the tailgate here. It's a flock of wild parrots, by the way. I'm going to try and zoom up. There they are. Boom, there's the first group, second group, third group. And it's just a huge flock of parrots. And there go a couple ducks heading for the parrots. Wild parrots of El Cajon. Okay, going down this side, clean as can be. Just as straight as can be. I wanna show you this. Hang on, I remembered something. I see it. This is just a tad bit off. It's this plastic piece here. And it should be like that, and it's like that. I don't know why. It's the way it is. It doesn't look like this car has been smacked or had any paint work or nothing like that. But you know, you do have that little wrinkle I was talking about there a couple things that aren't perfect. It's an 04. 12 years old. I already believe that's 12 years ago. 
I just used to thinking these things are new. A couple little insignificant scratch type things. Tiny ding I seen there. Um, even the protectors around the lights are in great shape. Tires. Little titties on the side. A piece of duct tape on it. Dang it. But these are hand cooked tires. And they're Ventus AS. And I'll tell you what. Look at this. There's center tread in the treads. Little titties all over the side. These are in great shape. Just, I hate to say like new, but they didn't put these on there long ago. I'd say they're 80% plus on the tread. Just a huge amount of tread. Okay, well, that is pretty much the exterior review. Going around this truck, there's not anything else to talk about and say, well, this is all messed up, or that's all, it's not messed up. It's clean, it's straight. I can't think of nothing that don't work. It's a good little truck. So, that's the exterior. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a test drive on the way home. And these wheels are in great shape. I don't see really any curb rash as I went around them. Like, you don't get that as much on a truck as you do a car. But especially on the front, you get a couple areas in the corners that could use some extra cleaning. And I just really didn't scrub that good. And I wanna be showing you just anything that I can think of. And also, I can think of, this piece kind of does the same thing. And it's just time with these things, maybe. Oh, right behind the plate. Hold chip. I like to go around a couple times and make sure I show everything. Now, all the cladding and all that plastic vinyl stuff along here, it's all in great shape. Besides that little scuff on it, there just ain't nothing to talk about. Okay, that's the exterior. That's another walk around of it to make sure that I show you just absolutely everything. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. There'll be pictures and video and all that kind of good stuff on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test drive on the back of the interior and on the back of the exterior videos. So we'll take off and drive it. What do you think about that? Beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm, I put my key in my pocket. It's got a. Let me hang on now. Got a switchblade key. That's just cool to do, right? With the switchblade key. Okay. Well, I thought I was turning on my Google Glass to make part of my vlog video, but I was not because it won't go on right now. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. 115, 220 on this car. Just the tiniest little push on the pedal and you feel that turbo spool up and hear it. it sounds cool. And it just goes. A little bit of pizzoodle. I mean, just a little bit of pedal gives you a lot of pizzoodle. That's what I was trying to say though. Okay. Town of Lakeside, California. I do all my test drives here lately, it seems. You know, there's lots of different engine combinations in these, and I am most confident in a Volvo with this motor, pretty much. It's one of the most. The ones that are out right now, this is what I like. This is what I wanted, this is what I bought. I'd drive anything I want. I'd drive anything I want. I want to drive this. Ooh, right into the back of a Chrysler 300. This would probably destroy that cheap ass Dodge Chrysler metal. Okay, let's stop dogging on other cars and worry about this one. Man, the water spots. I'm glad I got on this one I did. My dad stopped by. I talked to him for like a half hour. I would have made it. I'll tell you, water spots for you watching this video or talking to my dad for a half hour. Talking to my dad for a half hour is more important. That's definitely fun and I enjoy it. And I'll take advantage of that any day of the week I can over water spots on my car. Sorry. Nothing against you. Just say. Okay, well, I mean, if you want to get on it, Buddy, we'll eat that little dodge up for dinner. 
it is a zip stickity little car. Well, that is pretty much the entire deal. I'm gonna go back down that road now. Pretty bold considering the traffic time that it is, but that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. I'm gonna get this interior video done. Hopefully, I can get it done with this battery that I have. Yeehaw, buddy! I can at least get the outside walk around done for the interior, the outside for the inside. Get it? I'll tell you what, the rear has some third row seats and it's got headrests on it. I don't know if I like that or not. Ooh, I like Porsches. I mean, I like they're there, but I know they fold down. everybody that's going. Here comes us. Yee-haw, yee-haw. Right back to the church. Do I really want to go to the church? I don't think I do. I think I want to go somewhere else. We're going somewhere else. I like it up here. There's a mini storage up here. Self-storage, whatever you want to call it. You know, when it gets cold even especially, the line at Starbucks can get pretty freaking long. Okay, one owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. Maybe it's the commercial look of the roll up doors and stuff that I like behind my pictures is what makes me like this area for my pictures. But this has been your exterior walk around and exterior review. We will be going for the interior now. And Kerchunky. This is a nice. A nice, nice rig. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll leave that here for now. I'm gonna have to move it as I do my pictures of the inside. I just heard them stinking. Look at they got the antennas like trees here. You hear them parrots squawking. Well, that's the video. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and that's about all I got to say. It's a beautiful XC90. 115,000 on it. That's it. Give me a call, Nathan, 406 544 6919. And you can also check out the website, oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll talk to you. This will be a complete walk around and interior review of the 2005 Volvo XC90. I need to make an intro for my other video to say, hey, this is 2005. Because I said it's 2004. It's not, it's 2005. So, 2005 Volvo XC90, beautiful rig. It's in great shape. I've been driving it around. I like it a lot. I like the power of it. And you know, that's odd to say about such a small motor, but it gets good fuel economy. It is a good rig, and I have been daily using it and enjoying this car a lot. Car, truck, rig, SUV, I don't know. So, that's a quick walk around before the rain comes and gets it all messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the outside and show you the inside now. Okay, it's in great shape. Oh, she's in a little SLK. And basically, door panels are clean. Dash, not all cracked up or nothing. It's all it's cracked up to be, but it's not all cracked up. Seats are clean as can be, except for this. It's just discolored. Um, they could be dyed or something. Um, this here is cracked and fallen down, and you can replace it and get it up. And, you know, you could glue it if you wanted, but you leave it up and it falls down. That's just what happens. Probably anywhere on the pedals or anything. It's as clean as can be. Floor mats, everything complete. All the windows and mirrors and everything work. Car is clean. I keep saying car. A little bit of discoloration there, and some on the wheel. And other than that, nice, nice. My Google Glass is over in the seat. I'm sorry. I didn't even shampoo. I think I didn't even vacuum the back here. There's a couple little stains in it. it could come out easily. 
These come up nicely. I think they pop out easily. These fold down for your third row. It's nice, honestly, if you need a third row, this is one of the smallest cars. I know, look at, there's still stuff in the seat. I haven't even cleaned it. But, I guess that's the point. It's clean even though I didn't clean it, huh? Okay. Manuals, service manuals and everything, all the original manuals. It's all here. Or I think most of it's here. Everything you've seen was there. Little covers were in one of these little pockets here. In fact, I'm going to put them back in there. So we're not lost. This I'm going to put underneath here. For the heck of it. And I don't know what the whole use of this is. Or where the jack is. But it tells you where it is and everything. I think it's probably on the side. It actually has a 12 volt plug back here. Which is kind of cool. Here comes the parrots. There's only two of them. Loud little boys. The San Diego Wild Parrots. Here comes another one. He got left behind. That looks like a duck. Nope, that's a parrot. Yeah, I like parrots. Okay, seats are clean. Let me get my Google Glass out. Show you this. Now, I don't know exactly. Poor guy. How that comes down. But it does. And this flips up. It's got some kind of car seat attachment thing and everything in it. I don't know all about that stuff. So you can go car seats in here. I don't know how that all works. I'm sure you do. If you if you need a car seat, I'm sure you know how it works. There goes the whole flock of them. I've got to pop the hood and show you under the hood. We're going to take a test drive on the way back to the lot there. Just clean. Headliner. Clean as can be. I vacuumed this side and tried to take some of the stains out. Just light little stains like that. Tried by me vacuuming in a little rag. Ah, uh, needs to be shampooed. That's what it really needs. Nice to have its floor mats on it because the carpets are clean. I gotta pop the hood. I didn't pop the hood. I'll show you under there. I'll show you some options inside. I'm hoping I have enough battery here and then we'll be done on the road. Now, it's clean under the hood. This is my favorite Volvo motor right now, in my opinion. I like them. Might be a better and I just don't know about them. But the little five cylinder turbo, turbo, it's a nice motor. Proven. Everything under here is clean as can be. They actually replaced the belt a while back, it shows. Now these bolts have been turned, so they have fenders replaced or stuff like that, which is nice to see. This floating torsion bar is pretty neat. It's just as clean as it gets. Okay, so even the hood insulation, clean as can be. Just a clean, clean car. Okay, let's show you the options and such. I kind of actually dug Having these lights, those lights, and those lights. That's cool. Airbags everywhere in this car. I don't know where. Wherever they came with, that's where they got them. Window and mirror out. In, down, up. Right side out. In, up, over, down. Now that's where I want it. Um, seat. You know, it's sometimes easier to just hop out and show you forward, backward, up in the front, down in the front, up in the back, down in the back, recline, decline, and that's that. Memory and all that stuff is on there. When driving, Got a manual shift type thing. AC is nice and cold. Radio works and all. Um, 
sunroof is in working order. Repoed, I think so. Now we're over there squawking about it. I'll tell you, you gotta hold on when you first take off in this thing. It goes. Okay, I'm gonna run out of battery here. I was hoping that I would have plenty of battery. I do not. I don't know why this lane is not moving at all with these idiots in it. But when my battery's going dead and there's problems. I mean, it just goes. My AC going. It's actually kind of warm, even though it's cold. Oh, there it is. Uh, check engine light. Come on intermittently. Hey, it's a cams camshaft CPS. Camshaft positioning sensor. Uh, simple code. I've got it. I'll put it in the eBay auction and such. I'm going to turn around here and get back towards the lot. No U-turn, so I'm going to turn this off. I'll talk to you in a second. I decided to go a whole different way home. So I'll make a video here. Just a little test drive. This car, I don't know what to call it. It just drives so nicely. Other video which is the exterior and I show you every single dent ding scratch and all that stuff and I'm telling you just a little quarter push on the pedal and this thing kicks up like you wouldn't even believe you hear that thing kicking you're a 25 before you even know what to say windows are all good and I'm out of battery here right do even more but there's that wow here you go guys huh. yeah buddy if you want to get on this thing you get up to 40 before you even know what hit you. But that is your test drive. I figure all the cops are back there now. I don't know if I include that part of them all flying by. But here you go. So your test drive brakes nicely. Everything about this truck that I know of, that I've went over, is just beautiful. I'll enjoy driving it. And that's all there is to it. Okay. Lots of cars for sale. I'm going to actually just hop out here and give you a goodbye. I'll tell you that if you want this car, you should call me up. Nathan, 406-546-8748. And I'll get you taken care of. There should be plenty of pictures on OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe, like, and comment.